All right, just wanted to make a quick video about a new book that I had the opportunity of becoming a technical reviewer for. I've actually never been a technical reviewer before, so first time thing for me, thanks to Dennis Chow, the author of this book, for giving me the opportunity to be part of the review process when he was writing this book. It's titled Automating Security Detection Engineering, a hands-on guide to implementing detection as code. Recently just got released, got my copy right here. Let's see, right there. <laughs> it's a bit smudged up because I've been taking a look at it recently. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're anyone who is involved in detection engineering. And this book is like a really great book. Like during the process of reviewing, I learned a bunch of stuff and also like got the opportunity to validate a lot of things I've already worked on in the past um, during my detection engineering career. In regards to what you will learn in this book, you will understand architecture of detection as code implementations, which is super important. A lot of organizations these days are actually moving into a detection as code sort of engineering practice as to where detections are built and written as code. And I think it's super important in this day and age as a detection engineer to understand that. Next, you'd also develop custom test functions using Python and Terraform. I think this is super important in regards to like detection testing and also pipeline testing as well to ensure efficacy, validity, and efficiency of your detections. Also leverage common tools like GitHub and Python to create detection focused CICD pipelines. This is another important one in the sense that now Detection engineering is adopting DevOps practices in regards to, you know, having like continuous integration, continuous deployment, continuous development, um, and also something even called continuous detection and continuous response. So it's all kind of, you know, merges together into sort of like a, a DevOps centric approach or even like a more engineering centric approach to doing detections and stuff like that. So understanding how to do that stuff is going to be super important and you'll learn that in this book. Also integrate cutting edge technology and operational patterns to further refine program efficacy. This is a really cool one in the sense that it, it, it also has some information about actually operationalizing a detection engineering program. So if you're like a senior engineer or a lead or a manager, I think this is super important in understanding like how to actually plan for your detection maturity, for your program maturity, and a bunch of other things like that. And this book goes into all of those details. Another thing I actually like is actually really cool about this book is applying monitoring techniques to continuously assess use case health. This was actually a really good one because after you deploy detections, after you've actually built out to detections, ensuring that you're continuously monitoring the health of those detections is super important because some things just go and become very volatile in production, um, even after they've been tested. So I think having some sort of practice and monitoring techniques to validate the health of your detections post deployment is super important. And it goes over that. And then finally, create structure and commit detections to a code repository. So basically going over the you know process of like having like a trunk main branch and also like how to structure that um, and also how to commit your detections to an actual code repository. Uh, this book is super, super, super in-depth, very technical. So it's not like all like, you know, conceptual stuff. It's code snippets, labs. I did some of the labs myself. I tested some of the labs myself. I gave some recommendations for some of the labs as well. So I definitely can give you like a very good recommendation in regards to what this book covers. And I think if you're wanting to be a modern detection engineer, understanding how these things are automated, you know, pipelines, how you develop custom code for like EDRs, WAFs, SIMs, uh, CSPMs, network industrial systems, CICD pipelines, and even some AI stuff as well. I know AI is sort of a buzzword these days, but the book actually gives you some practical use cases for that and actually shows you how to, you know, build a lab for it, test it out, implement it, and all of that stuff. So definitely a huge amount of technical details here that are going to help you in either starting your detection engineering career if you're not in it yet or improving your skills if you're already in the career. I want to learn more about how to do some more interesting things and adopt some DevOps or DevSecOps or engineering practices to your current detection development processes. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for this. And also I'm working on a podcast with Dennis, who's the author of this book. Uh, we're going to be having an episode soon on the Cyber Stories podcast on this channel where we go over like, you know, Dennis's career, this book, and a bunch of other things. And also we're planning a actual multi-part series together where we're going to go over some actual practical use cases actually from this book. So we're going to go over some actual hands-on, you know, tutorial style videos where we go over some things like, you know, how to actually build a pipeline, testing it, deployment, all of that stuff. And all of that stuff is coming to the channel very soon. So, so be sure to subscribe for that and make sure you turn on your post on notifications so you can get notified when those videos drop. And if you also want to check out the other podcast that we have on the channel, which is the Detection Opportunities Podcast, where I go over different kind of systems, um, environments, cloud environments, Microsoft environments, all those things, like different kind of stuff like that, and how attackers try to get into them, but also more importantly, how to detect threats and attacker behaviors within these environments. Definitely check out the left of the screen right here for the 
Detection Opportunities podcast, where I myself and even some guests that I've had on the channel go over various detection opportunities for various environments and all that fun stuff. Practical stuff also in there. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.